There's a growing concern on the Big Island about the number of missing children. And while most are runaways, that does not mean they're not in danger. Gina Mangieri is always investigating and learns from officials the link to sex trafficking and drugs. The Hawaii County Council asked police and prosecutors to come before them today, worried about what's perceived to be an increasing trend in missing children. Law enforcement says it's been a problem for years. Most of them runaways. And though even lower in number so far in 2020, no less dangerous. It's the talk of the island. What's happening with all these missing children in Hawaii County? Hawaii police put out bulletin after bulletin. It caught the eye of Kikai Coakley scrolling through Facebook. I was reading all these comments about missing children, about um, concerns. Mothers had their own concerns. He launched the group called Big Island Missing Children on Friday. And by today, it got its 1,000th member. Kind of got my attention that this is an ongoing problem. And um, <clears throat> maybe through social media, maybe because it's you know, now it's more that we're being more concerned about it. The county council called on police and prosecutors to testify at a hearing Tuesday morning. At any given time, we could have um, 8 to 15 runaways. Um, and that's just the, the amount of runaways which have come for continued investigation to my section. Police say the numbers are not up, actually down, from a peak of 850 runaway cases a year more than a decade ago to the 400s in recent years. January to June 2020 has seen 150 cases, actually slightly down from 162 this time last year. Police say any child is entered into a national database within two hours of being reported missing, and that should prevent them from leaving the island or being taken away. But even on the island, prosecutors say these youth are ending up in very dangerous situations, including sex trafficking. Oftentimes you'll have kids who are running away uh, that will get involved with the drugs and then maybe trading sex for uh, for food, for housing, for, for other things, and that's human trafficking. We uh, have charged out um, two, two separate adults in the past six months with regard to um, sexual assault investigations um, related to minors. Law enforcement says abductions are not common. Just because a kid wasn't snatched by a stranger doesn't mean they're in less danger. That's, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. And, you know, if a runaway comes into uh, contact with a bad, bad actor, it's just as bad as them getting snatched up off the street. Among the solutions, more attention to protecting youth. Kids who have adverse childhood experiences like domestic violence are much more likely to be runaways. They're much more likely to be people being involved with suicide. We have a, a huge suicide uh, problem in the state. They're much more likely to be involved with drugs. And, you know, that leads to other things such as homelessness. Whatever has driven children to leave their homes, those in the community say they'll keep raising their voices and offering their help. A sign-waving event on Father's Day in Hilo among the upcoming outreach efforts. We want them to know that they're loved. I hope for the best. I, I'm glad that the county council brought it up um, and that we're all working together to, to find a solution. Hawaii County puts out a press release about every missing child, so their numbers get a lot of attention. Visit KHON2.com for a link to missing runaway websites that cover statewide, and also to the 15 apps that Hawaii County Police told the County Council today they want all parents to be aware of in case they're on your children's phones. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.